Are you ready? Attention, sister, and attention, brethren, but I have one question. And that question is, are you ready for your next breath, the next moment? Are you ready for 2007? Are you ready? Yes. We're stepping into a brand new paradigm and dimension, a space and time where we quickly manifest our desires and intentions. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to commit? Yes. Are you ready for the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven at hand? Are you ready to take a stand for love and to live in the promised land? Are you ready? Are you ready to spread your wings and soar to a place where your thoughts are what shape your reality? A place where there's only oneness and not even the thought of duality. Can you take the time to vision and live your purpose to full fruition? Hi everybody, I'm back and we're doing uh, segment number two of the laws of attraction and the laws of receiving and how all that works. So now what we're going to do is now that you've raised your frequency to a higher vibration and a higher octave of ecstasy of joy, you want to stay in that state and what you want to do um, as a suggestion here is you can do a storyboard and what a storyboard is is a collage of pictures that you put on a big piece of paper or a big um, poster paper of all the things that you desire to manifest and what I recommend you do is if you have a relationship you want to manifest just do a board on relationship if you have money you want to manifest just do a board on money if you want a house a car whatever it is that you want to manifest just do the board on that specific um, part of your visualization or your creation and, and what these storyboards do is that they actually program you to create what you want to create and they remind you they're good reminders to put all over your house so I have little posters you know I actually have something that I printed off my computer that is me and a picture with a nature picture which you actually see here at the beginning um, with all the money coming out of the computer so this has been my my um, visualization that I actually have a little programming that I do every morning when I wake up and then I have two one million dollar bills that is right above me as I wake up in the morning it's right above my head so I get to see that so that's another good thing to do for you to kind of think about and, and create in your life. So either do that or the other thing that you could do is um, get this book. Um, this name of the book is Ask and It is Given and it's by Esther Hicks and the Abraham Group. In this book, there's lots of different processes that will take you to elevate your vibrational frequency. Again, she talks about that just like I do. Um, and the Abraham group talks about this to elevate your vibrational frequency to a frequency of joy of happiness and put yourself in that state on a continual basis for the next 90 30 to 90 days and anytime you're feeling negative just release it let it go forgive yourself and get into that state of joy and that happiness before you go to bed and once you wake up in the morning and um, there's some exercises that I can do with you, you know, some breathing exercises and some some meditation exercises that will bring in this energy into your life so that you're a lot happier. So the other alternative is to do a, a creation box that the Abraham group calls the creation magic creation box. And what you can do is get a beautiful wooden box that's about yay big, you know, a square box that you can put a bunch of pictures in and all the things that you want. and written notes to yourself of what you want to create in your life and um, build your fantasy be, build your 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 creation of what you want to create into reality and by making your feelings bigger and bigger and bigger and greater and greater in a positive way I want to reiterate that that you want your your feelings of joy and exuberance to come in a positive way then come into a state of gratitude that you have this in your life already so come from that place of already having it in your life and be there right now with this in this moment and be in a moment of gratitude that you are actually receiving this in your life uh, into this moment and then awaken yourself 
for and you know what you will do is you'll start to awaken all the desires that you have had inside of you all your dreams and aspirations that you've been holding in in tight into your heart that you haven't shared with anybody and imbue those out there let those come out of your out of yourself and imbue them with love and with gratitude for this is what brings in it, it forth into manifestation this is what brings it into reality and like I said in my last video we are the constructs of our own reality we are actually um, the architects of our reality so start creating the reality that you want and don't listen to other negative people that are around you people that are close to you you know ignore them they're they're just they're something that you created a while back and now it might not fit your reality and where you want to go so if those people are not supportive of you and, and and are not encouraging you and are not encouraging you to be all you are then you know what just ignore them ignore what they say to you ignore the negativity because they're in a different state of mind than you are if you're listening to this video and you're listening to this um, and you're looking at me and watching this video you'll you realize that you're in a completely different state of mind so what you want to do is the speed of your thoughts and the continual thought process that you have and believing in these things that you want desire and these dreams coming true and mixing that with the emotion emotion and the emotion of joy of exuberant joy you know remember a time where you were so happy a time where you were in a dream and you woke up and you didn't want to wake up because you were so happy in that dream and that feeling of oh it just feels so magical everywhere you know and especially here in the heart area you just feel so alive and so vibrant and so joyous so just remember that um, and then what you want to do is you want to join that emotion with what you want to create with your thoughts that you're creating and have unwavering faith nothing can stop you and bring about your desired outcome this will bring this desired outcome no matter how big or how small it is and just think of a past experience in your life where you actually experienced having a thought for something that you wanted in your life in your desires and it came to be so just think about that and, and stay focused on that and um, now um, this video has gone to six minutes and 30 seconds so I'm gonna put a stop to it and we're gonna go to our third video um, that will be coming on next and where I'll, I'll be sharing how to speed up this process and how to do and create the things that you want in your life so we'll see you in our next video and <laughs>
and be like the lilies of the field, remembering why you came. To experience the bliss of how it is to be in purpose, cause shining your radiant light is how your soul agreed to be of service. Are you ready? Ready to step into the true essence of your soul? To swim in the sea of faith and transform your ego? Are you ready to be for giving? To release, to let go? To allow your inner gifts to reveal and unfold? Are you ready to receive? All the vastness of heaven is for you to behold You already have everything you need with inside your soul It's up to us to remind each other of who we really are Because every time we see each other We're standing in the presence of God